Well, well, well. What do we have here? Whipping egg. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome you faces to a new dawn and a new day where my name is Tom and I film every single weekday of my life. But that doesn't usually consist of me being stood in a hospital bathroom. And the reason for why I'm here is because we've just brought into the world the most amazing little dude called Alfie. To me, Jellyman, who is my three day year old son, but unfortunately got required to come into hospital because he's got a little bit of jaundice. So let's get back into room number seven. <laughs> where my little dude is just absolutely big chilling. Have you been the bravest boy ever? Spending like 12 hours needed under this blue UV light. I am so proud of you. Yes, I am. But it is now superfood feeding time at the zoo. That's first time feeding. So yeah, just another crazy day in life with Tom and Alfie. Hey, boy. Okay, don't just do it really slowly. Let him yeah, eat up every little cute. bit, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Just to let you know, this is from the boob, and I know you'll like it. Yeah, all. <laughs> so much, isn't there? Well done. Good boy. Oh, yeah. Good boy. Oh, there you go. Five mil of super juice. But it's now time for your dad, who looks like he's been electrocuted as he slept in this chair overnight. To put your back in the big old blue. Which I would give you two to one odds that um, he will indeed start crying. Are you ready? Imagine someone putting you on a sunbed without any sunglasses. We <sighs> bit food commode. There with that. Hey! Did the classroom do the trick? I don't want you to cry, but I think I've just lost some money. <laughs> Super mom. Child doesn't look too best pleased though. What on earth is going on here? Oh, well, shout out to the NHS. I will say we didn't expect the phone call at 10 o'clock saying, hey, can you come in now? And the chances are it's going to be overnight stay, which it was an overnight stay, but round of toast and a cup of tea in the morning. Don't mind if I do. Mm. And Miss Mother over there, how much longer has he got in it? Got another hour and 15 minutes now, then yeah. he's gonna have his blood stone. Yeah. Then we gotta wait for his results. She says it's unlikely that his levels have gone down enough. She says it's unlikely that they will come down enough because even though he's only one box over, yeah. he needs to now be at least five boxes under before this ending. Five under? Yeah. So he's gotta do another 12 hour session? Potentially, we're going to look at the levels. Oh, jelly man, I can't believe you're only three days old and just causing chaos. But don't you worry, we've got you. Oh. Oh. <laughs> He's definitely his father's son. Just wants all the attention, all the time. Oh, I can't believe we came in during the night time and it is now the next day. Flipping heck. This is how it's done. An overnight stay at Tabeside. It would appear with the combination of the outside light under the UV rays. My guy's big chilly. And I uh, don't, don't even ask what's going on there. I look like I've been licking plug sockets. <laughs> Bye, little dude. It's going for a blood test. Oh, it's that. <laughs> Bud, that's what wakes me up, but not you. Wow. Wow, oh, that fucking scared the shizer out of me. Well, well done on not waking up, little dude. Oh, fuck, it is so cute. But right, I'll go and get your custom. And um, I'll try and find a barber on the way. No one will know. No one will know. Love you. Oh, it's good to be outside. This fresh air is absolutely gorgeous because where we've been stuck inside not only have we just got like the heating on in the room anyway we've also got like a plug-in heater because Jellyman in that little incubate box thing with the light on needs to be as warm as possible because he can't wear any clothes because he needs the light contact on his skin so it is like an absolute sauna in there so this is appreciated and I'm now gonna go and get Lydia some food and some fuel at the one and only 
Costa. Beautiful. And would you just look at this day? Absolutely stunning. This is now where I've got to remember which way I came. I'm 99% sure it's Ward 27. Is it? Yes. This place is like a maze. Hello. <laughs> Look. Oh, sorry for the noise. Look who I found. Oh. Hey, Liz. I was I was walking up the stairs and I just saw her and I was like, oh my gosh. Thank you so much for helping bring our little boy into the world. Oh. So do you like the name Alfie then? Yeah, I love it. Yes. So, like I said, right now we're waiting to find out Jellyman's blood results to let us know his jaundice levels and um, if they're lower enough, we're good. But if not, like I said, we've got to stay free for longer. Um, they're going finding out now if the bloods are ready. They took them at 11 o'clock and it is now bum, 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 2 o'clock. So, fingers crossed we hear some good news. It's gotten to the point that I think I need to do something about this hair because every time I walk to the bathroom, every member of staff looks at me as if I've escaped from... The mental institution so let's do something tap goes um. <laughs> yeah i don't think this is the one tempted mohawk tom returns mm. oh boy can i see your library card please yeah i really didn't know what this vlog was going to become when i became a dad but hey this is content that'll do pig that'll do honey i'm home she didn't even notice didn't even notice I had a shower and a sink. <laughs> I have to look good for my child when he wakes up and says, Wow, Tom, have you really had the same haircut since you were 13? And the answer, my son, is yes. Look at the size of his little ear. I love him. So it's from massively below. So he's one, two, three, four, five, five <gasps> below, which is what I said he had to be. Yes. But well, then he needs a 12 hour rebound so he can come off this. Yep. So what time do we have to stay with him, Tom? About half past 10. ten. Oh, really? Then, oh. He's got, then he's got more blood. More blood. Then we'll have to wait for the results. It'll be after midnight yeah. again. Yeah. I'm sorry to wake you up, but I can actually take you away from the light. Oh, my boy. I'm sorry, but I need to. <sighs> Don, you're just good, aren't you? You're just good, aren't you? You've smashed it. Get him all that good nutrients. He smashed it going, okay, now yeah, sleep. I love you. It's like burning baby. No, but it smells like shag tin, baby. Have you shagged yourself? <laughs> Do you need to check his nappy? I'm just going to quickly check that nappy. I'm oh, so happy I can't express it. I know you've been sat in front of me the entire time, but I'm just so good to have you back. Look at your eyes! Oh my gosh, Lydia, he is absolutely stunning. <laughs> I don't think it's fair for someone to have a baby this cute. Oh my gosh, he's just staring at you. <laughs> Fine. Shoes are coming off. Get shifted up. Here we go. <sighs> Hello. 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 Look at that little mug. Little Alfie Cassell. Little Alfie Cassell. Oh, oh sleep. So sick of you. Yeah, no, no, no. Look, he's actually falling asleep in front of us. Watch. He's going. <laughs> Sorry, but I'll let you sleep. I was going to say, how did we make this little human? But how did you make this little human? I just don't know. My body's so clever. I'm not even being humble. How did we do this? I know I said this on the day, but it was watching this happen was one of the most incredible things I've ever seen in my life. Some people have been like, ooh, eh, eh, no. But like, honestly, nothing in the slightest. It was just magical. Magical. What the heck? He smiled. He actually just smiled. Where's that smile? <laughs> <laughs> You're like a gremlin. <laughs> See you in a minute. Lydia's having a nap. And me and uh, Alfie are wandering the ward. Freedom. And we're back because he wants feeding. I don't write the rules, nor do I dictate them. To be fair, he has already been fed. He's now having extra food because we're trying to fatten this boy up. And get rid of all that badness. Fat boy loves cake, hmm? Just like his father. Now, I've run out of the good good, and he's kind of staring at me like, what the fuck? So sorry, bud. You're on the, the waiting game until mum comes back, and you're back on the boob. I love, by the way, midway through this vlog, to just bring this up. Honest feedback. Like, this is the way I'm going to vlog dad life. Sometimes, I think at the beginning, obviously, 
I'm obviously going to be around him 24-7 and it will always just be me and baby, me and baby. Um, but yeah, just would love to know on his feedback because like, obviously I'll, I'll get, have to get back on track with life because I've got a lot of stuff to do. I've sent some voice notes today to do with Super Secret Project and they will include you. The Super Secret Project will change your life as you know it. Literally. It's that cool. Your, li your life, you don't understand how good it'll be. It, the, your life's amazing anyway. You're three days old. And you're absolutely sending it, dude. Sending it. You've done two trips to the hospital. You're a big attention seeker. <laughs> He's like, stop shouting at me, Dad. I'm not shouting at you. I'm praising you. But if we do the super secret project, just imagine how much fun we're going to have when we're older. It's going to be mega. <laughs> Speaking of having mega fun, boob time! <laughs> now, this is a little bit random, but we're currently watching... Oh, my gosh. We sat whilst Lid's feeding, watching the vlog from yesterday. Now whilst they, we're just here, like, how do you feel being able to just rewatch it? It's so surreal, isn't it? Like, to me, when I watch, when I, I've watched it probably like four times now, <laughs> it's like a magical movie for me that I, I almost still can't believe it so happened. It's so lovely. The forty-eight hours of pain is condensed into seven minutes. <laughs> Hey, listen, I have about 40 nothing hours worth like, of footage of a lot like of... Nothing movie, ma <laughs> movie magic. Um, yeah. No, it's special, isn't it? You were so good. Like, I, I, some people always go, my partner, she's so special, she's so good. <laughs> listen, I speak facts, and she knows I would be like, oh, she's a big wimp about it. She wasn't. I have never met anyone so strong. When you were pushing, I could feel her shoulders. She might as well have been an international body weight lifter. Because she was so tense, you were like a rock. I don't think you meant it. Really. You like, were using no, but like you were now. using all the force in your body to push down, and I feel like I was like holding you to strengthen you and keep you there rooted. Because I swear you were gonna fire him out. It's definitely a team effort though, because like honestly, you're so exhausted in that moment, and having someone there saying like, "No, you honestly, you're so close, you're so close," because you can't see, you've no idea what's going on, like. You trusting someone else to say like, no, this, what you are doing is working. Like, carry on, carry on. And you were brilliant at that. Really, you were such a good cheerleader. Uh, like, you were just, you were so on it. And I know it sounds really weird, but I wasn't even thinking about what I was saying. But, was but like, I felt like because I was holding on to you, and I could feel you. I feel like I could feel. It was like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop after into this it. one. And you know, like in my in my brain, I was like, oh, I might have to just have a break after this one. And then Tom would be like it's so close and then i'd be like no can't have a break gotta gotta do another <laughs> you you were phenomenal like we're just watching it back now i know like, i was very off. silent but i don't know if that's just because i was so exhausted yeah i know like you see in some movies where they're like oh screaming and they've like the nurses were speaking today said like they've heard some like horror stories of like craziness which respectfully so but lydia was oh, just I, like a I silent respect for anyone that's given birth <laughs> no matter how they've done it whether they've screamed oh. whether they've taken every drug necessary like honestly men, hardest thing i've ever done in my whole life men so. have no say in anything or bragging rights at anything all that 10 seconds of work is nothing compared to the nine months of growing it and then the 48 hours of labour. <sighs> we told so many people that, like, when, like, family, that she was in labour. She was in labour for 48 hours. A bit of a, a full story of I it. Agree. Because the seven minutes, like, it, it, that was the perfect video that needed to go out. But There was a whole hospital visit before it you didn't even see. There's a lot of, that was, very, it, it's, it comes across very idyllic. There was a lot of things that happened afterwards as well. Um... We didn't change it to make it look any different than it was. Like, no, it no, was. not at all. Like, it was natural to its core. It's just, there was so many other moving like the, parts the internet, that didn't get shared. The internet, off, often, often, yeah, obviously. But often the internet shows this one story and I really want us to be the people that will, That's a good that will fully divulge so people don't go into it. Mm -hmm. Kind of... A false narrative. Yeah, right? like, the, oh, and, Lydia just did it and it, it seemed so easy for her. So it wasn't easy in the slightest. And and if it comes across that way, like, I'd love to tell, like, the full story. Oh, no, 100%. And, and in that same breath, I know this is going to sound really weird, but this is why I kept bringing it up in the vlog, is, you know, I kept mentioning how people say, like, when you... I was just really worried for some reason. I didn't really express this too much in the vlog, like, because I've always said I'm, like, worried about my sleep. I was worried about how I would feel towards them. 
if like I felt attached straight away. And then when everyone was like, when you see them, you'll love them straight away. And there's nothing else in the world that you love. I was like, really? Come on now. And then when he came out straight away, I was like, yeah, I'm not getting that like instant feeling straight away. Like within the first like second of scene, I was shocked and in awe, but I weren't getting it. And then when, as soon as they wiped the gun cough and like the color came into his face and he looked a bit human, when he looked like this, watch. When he looked like that, not like, not like that. Honestly, I was just like, oh my gosh, this little dude is something we've created. And well, she's created. I just, I planted the seed and she grew and that, that was it, right? And it was just like, it, it was there. I was just like, that hour I had with him on me, that was so powerful. And I'll mm -hmm. recommend that to any parent, you know, like having that skin to skin contact, if you can, that hour, like Lid had him for a bit and then, you know, carried on with what she had to do with the doctors. And then when I had him, that time I had with him, it just was like there. It was like, oh, this is going to sound so cheesy, but I felt like my soul was like, just bonded with him. And I was like, you are mine and I will look after you till the end of time. And we're just completely ruining our lives forever right now. Why? <laughs> letting him sleep on me, not putting oh, him down. Oh, yeah, we're making a rod for our back yeah. today, aren't we? But I've had cuddles for, like, the last... Because he's been, he's been bloody sunbathing. How many, how many hours? It's been probably about 14 hours. And I have just stayed awake and stared into the crib, so... <laughs> now I'm just holding him. And, my, and guess what my guy's doing? Just in drunk booed paradise loving life. What a what a trip. <laughs> Who is that guy by the way? That's a big chunky Asian baby, that is. <laughs> I, I just can't wait to tell him when I first saw him, I was like, bro, you don't understand I'm gonna put it on screen again. The the crystal skull head, you see how long it is? That's what he looked like. You don't really see it on the back of that video how long his head was. But I was looking at him like, bro, looks like a rugby ball. I was like, what is going on? But like, it, they luckily they put that hat on him to hide it, and I didn't really see it. And then his head just like reformed back to shape because it like stretches when he's coming out. And I was just like, wow, he's beautiful. He's just absolutely beautiful. I love him, and I love the name. I love Alfie. He is just an Alfie. I was really, like, at first I was like, just didn't know about names. Then when we kind of, like, settled on it, we were both like that. But the more and more and more and more we'd said it, I'm just like, I couldn't imagine him being anything else. No. He's a cheeky He's little attention-seeking Alfie. He has rough. And I'm still so stoked that he's got Asian eyes. <laughs> Look at the joy in my face. <laughs> Go on. That is all he said, like, actually probably since before we've even discussed having children, like... The best. Uh, I've always kind of thought about, like, what you were doing after school because <laughs> I just wanted a kid with Asian eyes. I, I honestly thought because I and wanted it so bad I wasn't going to get it. research into how the Asian eye works. There's the, no brow. There's no eyebrow. <laughs> there's no eyebrow. Like, honestly, it was such a roll of the dice as to whether I was going to get any Asian out of him because only a quarter in the gene pool. Did. And your jeans are so strong. I was I know. convinced it was just going to look exactly like Tom. It's not a bad thing, is it? No, but I, <laughs> I was joking, just convinced. I was convinced, like, Arlo looks so like you and Alice. Oh, yeah. Loads and, of like, people said Arlo To be like fair, actually, I think Arlo's eyes are really turning, like, into Carl's yeah, eyes. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he's developing. Um, so that makes you think, how, yeah, how much is he going to change? change. If, well, he if he loses change. his Asian eyes, I'm, 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 I'm sending him off. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna reach out to some Chinese family friends we've got and be like, right, we're having a trade. We're having a, an exchange student for a while. I'm not me. I won't change you for the world. I'm so glad he's got Asian eyes. Right, time for Super Tom to strike. I'll be back with supplies. Bye bye now. All right, it's adventure time. Home to get some stuff and get some food for Lid. Let's make this a swift and quick trip with the understanding and side note that I'm going to order Nando's and pick it up and bring it back for her because that's what she wants, so that's what she'll get. Whoa, it is chilly outside. That, or I just got used to being in a 700 degree room with jelly, man. <laughs> oh, the shower's gonna feel good when I get home. I think I used the wrong wording. I didn't mean showers in rain because it is absolutely pushing it down. But hopefully this is the last time that I am home without Lydia and little jelly. Filling this up with ice, She's got a little, like a list of things that she wants me to pick up and then I've got to order the Nando's and hopefully time it perfectly to collect it and take it to the hospital so it's nice and fresh. And what the heck is this? It's been some sort of delivery of some sorts. Not a clue what it is, but okay. It's shower time. 
That was the slowest starting shower ever. I'm gonna need the shower because I am one stinky sweating boy. I've been wearing this tracksuit, which is so comfy, but with the heating on and a radiator. Oh! Moister than an oyster. So I'll be back when I'm looking a little bit for a shower. Shing! <laughs> Can't beat a fresh shower, and on screen right there, Nando's order ready to collect. We are motivated. And don't worry, my other son, Kevin. Help is on the way. Would you like some food? I think you would. Here we go. Time to strike, Kevin. Don't miss. Don't miss. Very nice. Very, very nice. Okay. Go time. Nando's time. Yo, I am one happy chappy right now. Honestly, there was like no traffic on the motorway and I didn't get stuck at any traffic lights. Delivery, delivery for Tom. Yes. Just walked in as it got bagged up. Fresh as anything, bro. Got a love of Nandingos. And now it is hospitality time. And at this rate, they should probably put a name plaque down there for me. Seeing Tom, Lydia, and Jellyman. Because I managed to bag the same space again. I claim this ground as mine. And this is going to work out so good because I've just got a phone call off Lydia. She's been asleep the entire time since I've left. And she's just woke up. Now, talk about timing. Uber Eats ain't got nothing on me. I've got you an absolute feast. <laughs> Fresh water, ice in it, Nando's, eight chicken thighs, because I thought we were going to devour them. And are you ready for my next trick? Just in case you wanted a dessert, I brought you donuts. <laughs> Jelly man. <sighs> I love him. <laughs> Hello. Mate, I can't wait till you're older, because then too, you can try Nando's. Look at this. Garlic bread, creamy mash, peri-peri chips, thighs, thighs, chicken breast, halloumi cheese, um, garlic bread, peri-dip, and for some reason, nine billion sauces. Because why not tell me you're not happy right now? You're the best. And, you're you ready for, and are you ready for the cooker? I just told her, mm. I've organised with Rita to get a home delivery of Rita's room. So the fridge will be filled you, as soon as we get home. What are you up to? Keeping you happy, fed, because if you're fed, he's fed. Oh my God. This particular Nando's, 10 out of 10 for just the location. <laughs> Can't say I quite know what happened there, but I was going to say convenience and location, but whatever. Didn't even get through 99% of it. But now I'm moving on to dessert. <laughs> now I usually go for a plain ring donut. But I'm gonna have to go for. Oh, 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 go on then. I want you to give me a rating out of 10 for my decision. Mm. Mm. 10. It's time to check your blood. Uh, uh, uh. And then there was one. Everyone else is sleeping. And I'm just chilling with old Jelly Man and Lydia. The doctor who just came in there, or the nurse, sorry. She was just checking Lydia's blood pressure. Clock. Where's the doctor? Spoke too soon. They're here. Yeah, he is right now. It's not happened yet though. There you go. Always. Oh, Bit of a wiggle. So you know, okay. it can yeah. take a bit of time. Yeah. Yeah. You're okay, bud. Hey, Baba. Oh. Who's a brave boy? Who's a brave boy? Yeah, don't, so don't, don't be kicking now. Who's a brave boy? Yeah, stroke his head if you can get it. Hey. Yeah, good boy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, good boy. Shh. Shh. Do the shh. Hey, you're okay. Shh. Hey, buddy. Shh. Hey, buddy. All right. Possibly the strangest transition there from my child giving blood for his jaundice test to um, some wild berry fragrances. But if I'm to just sit down a second inside the shower is a nice little place for me to uh, leave with you and the baby to rest. Um, we've sent off the jelly man's blood um, about, I don't know, I think it was like over an hour, hour and a half ago or something now. Um, and we're still waiting for the results. They did say it might 
not take three hours this time, only an hour wait. But in between that period of time, there's been like an emergency on one of the wards. And I think they said someone got like rushed into theatre or something like that. So um, it's put big delays on everything. So I don't know what time we'll potentially be getting out of it. Um, kind of thinking I'm a bit of an idiot for not bringing any spare clothes or anything like that. I've changed so I feel fresh, but I should have preemptively known that we may be staying another night. If we do manage to get out of here at like two o'clock in the morning or even three o'clock in the morning, like with the green light, Jelly Man's okay, we will actually go because our sleep schedule's all over the place anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But yeah, we're still here. This is just life. This is a, a full behind the scenes of like me and my dad with diaries documenting what it is like to have a child. And my little dude is three hours away from being a whopping four days old. <laughs> and he spent two of those days in hospital. So I can't wait to get him home because I don't know if we documented this much, but back at home uh, yesterday when we had like the care worker come around, they were like, yeah, I feel confident. You know, like this is before the journey. They were like, we feel confident with everything uh, to the point where he's like, you know, he's good, he's healthy, he's eating, he's pooping, that's great. Um, yeah, if you want to get out and about with him, go for it. As in like, I can put him in his little harness and walk around like the local village with him. And I'm like, oh yeah. That's happening, that's the situation. So I can't wait to just get him back um, and take him for a walk. Like it's actually Tuesday, right? And what I planned on doing was put him in a little harness and go and meet up with my dad at the pub as a surprise, like I usually go and do uh, when my dad's been riding his bike and surprise him with a little jelly man. Um, even my dad asked if I was gonna be there, but obviously I updated my dad that we're uh, at the hospital and still here. So yeah, just playing the massive waiting game. But yeah, this is just life, man, it's, it's crazy. Uh, we just keep on ticking on and that's pretty much that. I'm really interested to see how these vlogs go because I've still not posted a single vlog since the video of Jellyman joining the world. So I, I don't know whether like, I've, I've scared everyone off from this journey, which is my life, but this is just the next chapter. And like I've always said, I'll just film what goes on in my life and this is that. And be able to look back at it and go, wow, what a fucking roller coaster that's been so. We keep on keeping on. I um, really hope everything's going all right with like whatever the um, big situation was in the wards uh, earlier. But the donuts that I brought for Lydia are pretty much gone. I handed them out to the staff and was like, would you guys like some donuts? And they went like hotcakes and that was a great success. I will say, I don't think the staff are taking me seriously because about eight times I've said, write me a list as long as your arm of all the like chocolate snacks and sweets you could possibly want me to drop off because these guys have gone above and beyond for me, Lydia, my family in general, but now Jellyman, so my son. So this is now, this is personal. Do you know what I mean? It was already personal, but now it's really personal. And I'm like, get me a list together and I'm gonna bring you to drop it off to just keep you guys like ticking over, happy and snacking away. Like you've seen me and Lydia, we feast on snacks all day, every day, we're fat gets. She's not, I am. And I don't think they're taking me seriously to the point where I'm like, listen, no one's giving me this list of everything. If you don't give it me, I'm going to turn up with like a box of celebrations, quality street, every, everything you could possibly get, I'm going to bring in, in a truckload as a thank you. So just throwing that out there. Hopefully I'll be able to like repay them as a thank you for everything they've done for us because they've just gone so above and beyond and it's just been brilliant. Like, I know it seems a bit weird to be like, oh, I'm having the best time when I'm stuck in hospital, but it's been so good because any questions and concerns we've had with like Jellyman, with Lydia or breastfeeding or just anything to do with Lydia in general during this period of time, it's been so nice to just have them on hand to ask. Whereas you know, like if we were at home, we'd be have to be on the phone or overthinking things. Whereas here we've got, it's like, it's like having a private one-on-one -on -one with the best teachers in the world. Like why, how could you possibly turn that down? So yeah, just like making the most of the opportunity whilst we're here, making sure Jellyman's all right and like just ingesting as much information as possible. So yeah, that's that. I rambled for ages, but I'm now going to transition you back to the spray can. Now, random pitch black transition. Are they the right lights? They are. This is a room me and Lydia have not been in once. But it's some sort of like communal room for like the mums or visitors to sit in and enjoy a, a drink and a hat for your baby. So I don't mind if I do make myself a cup of tea. Is this still warm? I think it is. I'll be taking that. A tea bag. I wonder what tea is. Not a clue. I'm guessing Tetley's. Could be wrong. And hey up, they're asking for donations. I don't have 50p, but I do have 10 pounds. So hopefully that is going to supply a lot of tea for the future. Get in there. Thank you. 
and great success. Look at that for some accuracy. Years of practice, boys. Now, I'm only missing one thing, which is milk. And I'm obviously assuming it's in the fridge, but... Um, <clears throat> I am on a maternity ward, so I don't want to accidentally take the wrong milk. If you catch my drift. <laughs> Seems legit. Ka-chow. Beautiful. Interesting transition. I think you need your bottom changing. Yeah, big stinky bugger. Question, when did he become a model? Because um, he is definitely striking them sort of baby poses that you see people have up in their houses and stuff. Like, people pay for this, and he's just there. Looking all cute. Look at that chin. Look at that chin. I would just like to take a second to show that we do actually put clothes on him. It's just that it's really, really hot in this room. So we're just going to put him in this little cool outfit. One hour later, it is now uh, two o'clock in the morning. We've just rolled out our last nappy for this little guy, and we did bring a lot. Um, like I said, we didn't we didn't expect to be away in overnight, and uh, I did I did put another like the mo we must have brought like twelve nappies though. But he's been feeding good. Look at that yeah. guy, content, done a lot of pooping. But I'm just gonna go and see if there's been any update. Um, because if the eyes and they can go, oh yeah, we've just had them laying around, then we can just bounce on out of it. Uh, and that would be like best case scenario. Let's find out. The person who took our blood is a trainee um, and the woman who she's with now is gonna go and check it. So we should hopefully have an answer. She's just going to check on some, some baby first and then we should have an answer. Okay. Cause we have no way for this poo to go. You've pooed us out a nappy, lad. The reason why we kind of want to know as well, if I'm right in saying this one, because we're low on supplies, but two, did we get it's, comfy it, and... it's two o'clock now, like, do we get comfy and get some sleep and just say, like, don't even bother asking? Because then if they, you know, they're like busy with something else. Until the morning, then that's fine. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah if we just, like, throw yourself in, then we can get some sleep. But yeah. if we can go home in the like, next half an hour, I'd rather pack everything up, and go. get home, and yeah. then be settled at home with him and have all the stuff we need. So, yeah, that's the other thing. We're not trying to stress anyone out. It's just so we know whether or not we can get to sleep, he can get to sleep, or we're packing and going. 3.17 a.m. I'm starting to yeah. wonder as to whether or not I can play Minecraft on this computer and show Jellyman how it's done. <laughs> Just don't ask me to play hardcore. I'll build the lighthouse. You'll understand when you're older. So, good news. Safe box has been loaded. Is that anything to you? Yes. Yeah. 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 Can we go? Well, not right now. Oh. <laughs> this is the current situation. I match. <sighs> Going to that door, back, and then to that door over there. If you switch around and show them, and I've probably done that now eight times. And off we go. In my little area. My little oh, how dare you! <laughs> We're allowed out. It's just you that's not allowed out. <laughs> Should we just leave you here? <laughs> Yellow anymore. One hour later, it is now 5 a.m. We're packing the bags because we're going. Oh my gosh, it's actually happening. Well done, Alfie. We are out there. Come on, little dude. Let's go, 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 go. Oh my goodness me. We are actually out of here. I'm at the car, I'm going picking up Lydia and Alfie. And we're going home. I started to get a bit of like cabin fever at the end there, man. Flipping heck. Yeah, what, what we thought was just gonna be like one hour uh, before we were gonna like get the results to find out whether or not we could go turned into five hours. So, you know, like hour after hour after hour after hour, you're like, when, 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 should we sleep? Should we not? Should we sleep? Should we not? A little Alfie, poor guy, getting agitated because we're, you know, like we're not settled. Um, but anyway, we've got the all clear. <laughs> We're good to go. <laughs> Little dude! Right, let me get the bags first. Alrighty! <laughs> Tim's Eye Hospital. We are saying sayonara. Thank you so much to the staff, as always. But it's home sweet home time. Oh, flipping heck. Honestly, I can't express that either. Knowing I'm bringing you both back this time, it makes me so happy. So happy. I feel this is like... Something like a movie bringing you back in the rain. But hello, my dude, you're home. And what a little dude you are. Honestly, bro, just the best. Look at him. I've got him wrapped up, ready for bed. Look at his little toes, he's hanging out. 
I've got him wrapped up, ready for bed, whilst Lydia has a shower. Because the poor, poor girl has been stuck at that hospital for like two days, man. <sighs> Who said it was going to be easy? <laughs> Nobody. I've got so much love and respect for that woman. I can't believe she's just absolutely trooped on with it. And we're home now. And this guy is happy. That is the most important thing. But it is officially seven minutes to six in the morning. So guys, I'm going to say this. I'm going to try and get some sleep. So is Lydia. And hopefully Jellyman is just comfortable to be home. And just has the most perfect night yet. It's past 4am, which means Jellyman is officially four days old. Four days old. My son is four days old. Can't, can't believe it's getting close to a week, but as you can hear, he needs me. <laughs> so I'm going to love you guys. If you enjoy these vlogs, thanks for tuning into my dad diaries. Leave a like and click that subscribe button. And we'll see you guys for the next vlog, whenever on earth that is. So until next time, much love. That's how they ask.